Hello everyone and welcome back to the big video where we're reacting to update things. So, um, yeah, since we're here now, apparently we have new, um, like, map songs. So, oh, that's interesting. So if we are here at the, like, uh, yeah, natural islands, then it sounds like the one we heard. So, I mean, that makes sense, I think. Oh, the trumpet sounds different. It's more prominent. Oh, that's really cool. I don't know, I almost don't care for the change, but it's not bad, so I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I know there's something for the mirror. Yeah. It sounds like something's off, which I guess makes sense for the mirror dimension. It sounds messy, almost, which, like I said, it makes sense in the context of these kind of, uh, I, I wouldn't say messed up, but like, like, a weird, this weird dimension with all these, like, you know, with all that rift ooze or whatever it's called, and then all this stuff that we saw last time with the, um, like, what was it, uh, the cat? Not the Cataclysm, was it? It might have been the Cataclysm. And like, the uh, Prism Gate and the Stair Shaper, things like that. But, yeah, I... It sounds interesting. Do the Earthquake! <laughs> There's a lot of Wordo melodies, which is interesting. But yeah, um, as you might be able to tell, I... I did get this update earlier this week, but they kind of downloaded it for me almost. Um, so I really didn't do anything with these islands. I don't know what there is to do with these islands other than a coin farm or something. But um, yeah, I kind of just put down the essentials with well, wishing torches, bakeries, uh, unity tree, and the mine. And I've uh, kind of lost a lot of diamonds because they're. Oh, it's too. The fact that. Right now they're only 50% off. That is insane how much they cost. Like, they need to make them not expensive. Cause isn't Bone Island like like a thousand diamonds? That that's too much. Okay, I. I, I but it's whatever. Um, but I think we have bios to. Yeah, we have new uh, island bios. So I suppose we shall read them. After vanishing into the prison gate during the dawn of fire. The long-lost outer islands have finally been found, and they've crash-landed in the mirror timeline. Party Island's breakneck descent from the prism gate towards the mirrored phosphorus vulnerable pate? Pate? I don't know. Whatever. Was a nail-biting spectacle that nearly ended in disaster. Unbeknownst to all, a giant buoyant glove hole, okay, egg, embedded deep within the island cushioned the impact, bursting into a yoki explosion. But that wasn't the end for this young party animal. The glove pole's essence has seeped into the soil of Light Island, growing up alongside its newfound friend Phosphora and enjoying the boisterous bashes the monster's host atop its head, bouncy castles included. How fun. Sounds like more of a party than party island. <laughs> But these, these island designs are really cool. I like the half and half for sure. There is like names like Glove Pull. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know. So I d don't really have much to say on a lore standpoint. But um, yeah. Um, if you, <laughs> I, I know this is like a shameless promo, promo. But like, if you want to light my torches, now is a great time because I have a lot of open slots because of these meter islands and some of you clearly are already here so uh hi melty burrito and uh torta so very cool um anyways yeah uh weird torch promo over so um yeah i don't i really wish i could have something to say about that but i have n no clue about like lore also this thing intrigues me why is it like why are, why are they like spazzing out. I don't, I don't know, I feel like the, 
And this, yeah, this critter's like, what is going on here? I, I feel the same way. But I'm guessing the bio will have something to say about it, I guess? Let's check out. But it seems like this first, like, sentence or two are, like, the same uh, thing for all the islands. And then we get, to in we get into specific lore for the islands. So let's read what uh, Meteor Psychic Island has to say. The meteoric arrival of Space Island's central moon, Staggeron, or Staggeron? I don't know. IV or 4? Staggeron 4? Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing that's a 4. Has upgraded the alternate Kruvlofs eye socket from ca cavity to crater. The psychic titans, spaceborne critters, must also keep watch for cosmic debris, lest a rogue asteroid poke them in the, well, eye. <laughs> yeah. But with millions of stellar bodies twinkling in the galaxy above, it's safe to say that Mirror Psychic Island is the perfect astral abode. It's just like a big space theme, I guess? So, this there's talk of a central moon and Staggeron 4? I... what is Staggeron 4? I don't... I mean, y'all are probably gonna tell me in the comments, so uh, be my guest if you, if you know. But, yeah, I have no clue. So I'm guessing this has something to do... Oh, wait, the eye got... Oh, the pupil got, like, enlarged when it looked at that. I never saw that before. Oh, the, oh these animations are so interesting. Oh my gosh, like, this island feels so more lively. So basically, these critters, the giant eyeballs, are like... This island is form of, like, a moon where it's, like, protecting the island from asteroids, I guess? Or... At least watching out for asteroids. Maybe these are asteroids, and I just don't know. And it's like, what has happened? What I I, I failed my job. <laughs> I don't know, but it's there is some interesting stuff to this. And sp speaking of Psychic Island, I don't know how they're gonna do things with like the th what the Titan Soul because I mean it has like this third eye open already. I mean, I guess it could, and it, this eye is already, like, partially awake, so it's like, I don't know what they'd do for that, but they'd probably just make it more awake. That would be the most likely option. Um, but yeah. I guess we'll go to Fairy Island now, because there's really not much for me to do. I mean, sure, there's the new, um, like, island remixes, but, like, a lot of us don't <laughs> really care about that. I mean, I can't say I really care about it because, from what I've heard, the remixes aren't that, uh, great, I guess. I mean, they're not bad, but, like, you know, they're not, like, what everyone's hyped up for, I guess. So, yeah. Um, anyways, let's just read this bio to see what is going on with Fairy Island because a lot of people really seem to like the connection between Fairy and Cloud Island because of, I think it's, like, the same key and roughly the same tempo or something like that but they're very similar in vibes so that's very intriguing and this feels like it fits perfectly the intertwining of cloud island with the fairy titan f facade okay was much gentler than the other mirror magical islands amounting to more of a soft envelopment than an earth shattering collision the paper birds have emerged from the prism gate untorn and are quite content to share their not-so-floating birdhouse and gleaming sunlamp with monsters and wispy critters alike. Oh, that's fun. So, oh yeah, there's the birds. Oh, that's, oh, that's, I really like this. And then there's the sun. Oh, we can't zoom in on the sun, but it's up there. Uh, my, uh, the thing is, is that, like, this background, it feels like it's oddly low quality in comparison to all this, you know? So it's kind of uh, odd, I guess, but it still looks really nice. And maybe it's, like, a, it's too zoomed in or something. Because I especially noticed it when, like, you do the whole intro thing, because I had to go through all of those when I was getting these islands. So it does this whole sequence of, whoa, look at all those monster eggs. And see, you can really tell, like, it feels like, it, I feel like that would be like a minor change they do, um, like closer or just in a random update. So, I don't know. But yeah, I haven't really 
been doing anything with these islands because, well, I I'm I don't want to be speeding stuff up, and it costs diamonds to like get the extra breeding and nursing structures and upgrade them. Enough of that. Um, we also have the Bone Island um, bio to read, so let's do that. The crystalline growths that encrusted Cave Island wasted no time overtaking the cavernous chasms of the Bone Titan. Ne necrol? Uh, am I saying that right? Necrol? Necrol? I don't. Maybe it's like necrol, like how we like roll our necks and there's like it cracks, like st stuff or whatever. That would be interesting, but anyways. Every nook, cranny, and crevice has been speared with a st stalagmite or skewered by stalactites. With so many glimmering gems reflecting what little light can reach them, this dank dwelling has been illuminated to levels never observed before. Unfortunately, this has shown a light upon the growing fungal infections in Nectarol's ear, but it's under control, they promise. Oh, I guess we never really see its ears, or at least inside its ears, and... Oh! There we go. Now I see what you mean. <laughs> uh, Shuggle Beats, you should check out these mushrooms. You probably know what they are, because if you guys don't know from my Fast Facts series, shameless plug again. Um, much, well, I don't know how I said it in there, but anyways. Um, Shuggle Beats is like, he... Um, he got his drums because he, like, grows mushrooms and knows things about mushrooms and stuff. And his beard is yellow because of the mushroom dust produced when he plays them, so, you know, the more you know. <laughs> but anyways, enough with Sugarbush Island stuff. But, um, yeah, this looks <laughs> really cool. I'm actually kind of into mycology, which, if you don't know, is like the study of mushrooms. But I haven't done much on it, but I do... And I am intrigued by fungi and stuff, so I kind of inherently like that. So, yeah, um, I love the crystals too. It it feels like a perfect match. It really does. I love the like shades of green and gray and stuff. It feels so fitting. And I don't know, probably my favorite design. I'd have to say. Look at that little guy. I I don't even know what the crater name is, but it looks really cool. But, um, yeah. I guess that's it for this mirror island. Yeah, I also noticed that this is here. Sword is really cool. I definitely vibe with that. I don't think I'm gonna change mine because I've gotten used to the whole layout. Because. Wait. This is new. That's what? Fire Oasis? Wow, what the heck? Aw, oh, this is really nice. Aw, but I, like I was saying, I kind of got used to this whole layout. Like, we got the natural islands plus sugar bush. I don't know about the call of I might have to move that down because it feels irrelevant. So maybe I'll do that just so I can say that I organized my uh, layout thing. Alright, save. We're chilling now. Alright, cool. I actually did arrange some stuff. But yeah, this whole remix is insane. Has this... Magnifying glass always been there? J- Jamerland? What is this new lore? Jamerland is tropical atoll near Fire Oasis where a castaway population of toe jamers established their own society long ago. Its terrain is diverse and its rec recreational activities very splashy. When- We got lo- Oh my gosh, there's so many! Oh, I have to read this! Pocket Dimension. Well, we don't need to read that. We kind of know what's up with that. 
monstrous calligraphy? Cal 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 I don't know. Just to correct myself, it's calligraphy. I don't know how I didn't know it that, but whatever. It wouldn't be a proper map without some fancy monstru monstrous calligraphy that spells out the mo the world and depictions of fearsome creatures from parts unknown. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. What's this? The seam. The seam or the shawn, who knows. <laughs> the seam runs along the outer equator of the monster world. Numerous islands that share an especially strong connection with the human world can be found along this in invisible path. Shugbush would be one of them. Oh, tribal island? Oh, yeah, because it's like human. It, people are working together. Okay, what's this? Under Oh, underground! A series, a series of labyrinth I guess that's how you spell labyrinth, I don't know. Tunnels and passageways crisscross the subterranean reaches of the monster world. Or subterranean, my bad. They are especially concentrated in the region around Firehaven. As we know from trailers and stuff. Oh, and this is what, um, the living... The, the volcano in the living ocean, I forget its name. The living core, yeah. The Living Core, the Monster World's most prominent volcano, only recently emerged above the surface of the living ocean, having spent countless years submerged and presumed lost after the end of the Dawn of Fire. Wow. Yeah. I love all this lore. I'm going to read this because I don't know. I might be. I might learn something, something new. The pocket I mentioned actually predates the Monster World. What? and served as an experimental staging around for the Colossals during the earliest days of their acts of creation. Currently, Ethereal Island is the workshop inside of it, and Magical Sanctum are contained therein. Wow, so this is where the Colossals, like, hung out? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, the seam again. Oh, yeah, I, did, I never looked at the seam fully. But I'm going to check out this. Oh, Monstriana Trench. I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. The deepest section of the living ocean is called the Monstriana Trench, where unusual deep-sea creatures dwell, aka uh, one of them being Anglo, and the other creatures we saw in the Anglo trailer. Um, Wobblin Island is accessible via a crack in the seafloor at the bottom of the trench. What? Oh, I never thought about that. The storm? Oh, I don't know anything about this. Intense tempests of lightning and thunder encircle Wobblin Island. The area is positively coursing with the supernatural element of electricity. Very interesting. So interesting. What's this? The living ocean. Something we are all kind of familiar with. The majority of the monster world is covered by a single massive body of water known as the living ocean. Most islands are situated above the surface, but Water Island is uniquely positioned beneath the tides, as we could assume. So yeah, um, I keep getting distracted. The seam again. There's Sugarbush Island. Composer Island. Alright, so the islands that are interactive with the real world are, as we already established, Sugarbush Island, um, Composer Island, Tribal Island, and the Colosseum. Which all makes sense, because they have things to do with human interaction-ish stuff. But yeah, oh, I want to read this with the, what is it, po uh, the outer space place? I forget the name. The Beyond. Oh, okay. There's a whole universe out there past the edges of the monster world, from Anglo's home planet to the point of origin of, star of Stair Shaper. I almost want to say Star Shaper. Magical Nexus resides in the Beyond, and... I could totally see them adding more islands to the beyond, that's for sure. What's this? The Shanty Sea, okay. The waters of the living ocean that surround the seasonal shanty are appropriately referred as the Santi Shanty sh Sea. That's a tongue twister. Um, it's next to impossible to navigate unless you happen to be a seasonal who knows the way. Spur it, my man. <laughs> oh yes, he knows his way. That's the seam again. Uh, the dream space. I want to read this first. Dense clouds. Dense clouds form in this area of the monster world, a vestige of even stronger weather patterns from monster antiquity. They both protect and isolate Fairy Island. That's interesting. It's nice that it protects it, at least. 
And then I think this is the last uh, info we have to read, the dream space. The dream space is a metaphysical reality devised by dream crafters so that mythical island may exist there. It's neither real nor unreal, but if we had to place it somewhere, it'd be on the monster world moon. So like in, is that in, oh, that's the moon. So they're saying it would, it hypothetically would exist on the moon, but we don't know if it actually exists. I don't know, man. That's interesting. Yeah, because it's all based on dreams that mythicals have. But how would they be able to connect their dreams if it's not real? Whatever, I don't know. Just not for me to figure out. But, um, yeah, let's go to Light Island because the big thing of this update was the posture. Hello, Shugabush and your diamonds. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know where... 10 million? I mean, I can afford it, but... Oh, okay. I have no clue what I need to do for this. Four by four? What are you on? Oh. What do you mean, Link? Rares. Uh. What does this do? Use your daily free Link to link this monster to the Titan Soul. This monster is currently currency generating power will be redirected. Oh. What the heck? Oh, that's... So I can connect, can I connect like any of them? I, I guess. Whoa! I thought I had to fill them all in. What, 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 I can't do anything. I can't move. Oh, the phosphorine flux. Okay. I, I, I thought it, I was gonna have to put them all in. What the heck? I, I'm confused. Spend 10,000... Yes. Wait. Why did you put the... Yeah. Oh, wait. What? I am confused. I am quite confused, I must admit. Oh, I don't have any epics. Darn it. That's an inconvenience. So, I, how many epics do I need? I don't know. What what do these goals say? Uh, buy and place it. Link a monster. Unlock all Titan Soul music on Light Island. Two out of four. Uh, I don't have any epics. I don't think I have any in my hotel either. Oh, I have an epic flower. Okay. Okay. I can put you down somewhere. I don't know where that somewhere is. Oh, I hear. Whoa! You're doing things. Take it here, take a epic. I don't know. I don't have oh I don't Are there any sales? No. We just had that huge sale. How was I supposed to know that I need epics? I just sent my epic whizbang to season shanty. Gosh darn it. Ah, oh, but that's so cool. It's so big. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that's really cool. Aw, uh, uh, that's very nice. I don't know what things I am, like, missing, but, um, wow. This is all so interesting. It really is. I'm a fan. <laughs> wow. I wish I could get the full thing, but, like, I cannot. I don't have epics, so, um, womp womp. But anyways, uh, I th think that's it for what we got, uh, this past Wednesday which is a lot, so I cannot complain. That was a good update. That was a good update for sure. But um, yeah, I, I'm going to actually, before I end the video, I would like to react to the full Light Island song because, well, I don't have the full song here. And I'd like to hear the individual sounds of the Phosphorus Flux or whatever it's called. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh, it's so lively now! Wow! Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go over to YouTube now. And, yeah, all I'm gonna see what this sound is individually, so let's do that. Okay, so both of the videos I have p pulled up, um, one being, as you can see on screen right now, the individual sounds, and the other one, uh, the Full Island song, both are by the MPG, so I, even though I feel like you all probably know and know him and have seen his videos, I'll be putting the links to these videos in the description just because you gotta credit the creators, man. So, um, yeah. Uh, thank you, MPG, for creating these videos and being a lifesaver. And yeah, let's see what these sound like and, you know, isolated. Let's see. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Aww. That's so cool. Oh, that's what he heard in the trailer. Very nice. Oh wow, it's bringing everything together now. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Oh, oh that, that's so cool. It really is so cool. Oh, there's so much. That's so, so much tracks and stuff. I mean, it is Light Island, so the tracks are like super long. But, like, it's so cool. It's so cool. Wow. I love that. That's so awesome. But, um, yeah, I guess nothing better to do than, um, hear it with the full song and hopefully have the audio be balanced well. So, let's see. I don't know why people hate this song. It's one of my favorite, um, Magical Islands. I mean, uh, of course Magical Nexus is my favorite, but, like... I don't know, this might be, like... Oh, this might be second or third favorite for me, in terms of Magical Islands. But I... I, I, I know I already said this, but I just so love how it incorporates all of the island. The, the sky, the actual, like, island features. It's so awesome! It's... It's beautiful! Especially since Light Island, it's like, whatever it's called, like the Aurora Borealis in the Monster World. Monstros... Uh, Aurora Monstrealis or whatever. Something like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. It adds this this main part adds an absurd amount to the song. Wow. That's so pretty. Wow. That's awesome, man. That's so cool. I love I love the sounds. I love everything about it. I would say 
could, like those like little twinkly sounds could be a little bit louder, but like come on, that's just being picky. That is this is amazing. This is so good. It's so good. <laughs> wow, I love it. I I do love it. Oh, well, I guess I should read its bio. Um, but I forgot, but I'll go back right now just to read it, because that's what I should do. So, I'll see you all back in game, and then we can depart. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you all there. Alright, so I have the bio here, and might as well read it, so let's see. Stirred by the monster denizens of Light Island, the Phosphorin Fox has arisen. Is this entity the flower or the monster? In short, it's both, and it's neither. Okay, interesting. The true nature of the Titan Soul is complex. It's a physical manifestation of the soul of the Phosphor Titan, but it also appears to have a life force distinct from its Titan host. Light Island monsters play a vital role in its inspiriting, conferring solar power. Oh, I get that joke now. Okay, I get it now. I had to say it out loud to actually understand. <laughs> um, power by linking to the Titan Soul and progressively raising its power level. The Phosphorine Flux itself is silent, but as its solar power grows, it is able to exercise astound ast yeah, astounding musical control over its environment, manipulating the Aurora Monstrealis. Yeah, that is what it is. Okay, overhead. Conjuring dazzling light effects along the titan's brow and transforming nodules into musical lamps. Phosphorus' desire to join in the song is no doubt inspired by its mentor's admiration of the colossal's music gifts, and the Phosphorin Phlox helps to cement the titan's place in the monster world. No, that's, that's like wholesome actually, like, basically, these titan souls are like, like making the dreams come true by being the kind of the thing that connects the monsters and the titan t in, into one because the monsters are giving the titan soul the solar power to be able to help the titan be what it can't be when it comes to being a colossal cause as we know it's a titan so it can't really do colossal things as a titan uh, that's kind of obvious, but you know what I mean. So, um, it's really wholesome, and yeah, it's. And I this gets me thinking. Like, I think this might mean since uh, this the Phosphor of Flox is very light based. I would and very interactive with the island and its surroundings. This gets me really excited for the other um, Titan Souls because they'd be relating to that magical island Titan. So Psychic Island would have something to do with space, maybe? And Fairy Island would have something to do with folk tales and fairy tales and stuff, maybe? I don't know what that would look like, but you get what I mean. And then Bone Island has something to do with bones, I don't know. I have no clue, but that's all so cool, and I'm very excited to see the future Titan Souls in future updates, whenever those might be. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. See ya!